Here we go, good fellas. One of the first live streaming since a long, long time. Uh, if you're watching this now on my YouTube uh, feed, then you can go a bit further in order to actually enjoy the content of it because we're waiting for a few people to, to tune in. I guess most of the people will uh, get a notification about the fact that we are live and that it's uh, happening right now. I'm doing this live stream here to show you some really exciting writing instruments. Uh, from Namiki to Scribo to Carandash to Mont Blanc and to another very, very, very special Mont Blanc. So actually, I can't wait to, to show you all of these incredible pieces. So let's wait a second for everyone to, for people to tune in. And it will be a pleasure to finally show you a few very, very exciting pieces. Here, a little preview. Look at this. So we're going to discover this pieces here together, which, you know, um, there, you, you don't have the chance to see these incredible writing instruments everywhere, you know. Uh, so for me, it's always a pleasure when I have the chance to actually present you these pens and give you the chance to actually admire them almost as if you were here at the store. I saw that you've been enjoying the, um, the, 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 the content lately and I truly uh, am grateful for the incredible passion that all of you guys have and for the support that you're showing. The, the, the channel is growing significantly. By end of March, if we keep it up this way, we're going to have around 10,000 uh, subscribers, which, you know, is quite something uh, when it comes to, to, to YouTube. So, listen, we're really changing the game and that's the exciting thing about it. But, so, we're already a few, some more will join, some more will watch this once the live stream is already over. <clears throat> Time to discover a few very exciting writing instruments together. We're going to start from my right. And what I want to show you here is this absolutely incredible Namiki Makie Yukari Royal. So it's like the number 20 and it's called Parrot with Peach. Now I want you to admire the absolute beauty of this painting that, you know, is in, in relief. So you can actually feel the painting when you go over it. Now, obviously, I have gloves in order to make sure that the pens remain absolutely untouched. Marvelous 18 karat gold nib, two-tone with the Mount Fuji embossed on it. Let's see if it focuses. Yes. Mount Fuji embossed on the 18 karat gold nib. The Mount Fuji itself is in rhodium plated and the, everything else is gold plated and the nib itself is in 18 karat. Now, this writing instrument here uh, runs for about 5,900 Swiss francs. Uh, it can be filled using a uh, converter, the pilot converter, or uh, using the pilot cartridges. And, you know, it's incredible. If you look at the colors of the parrot, it's nice because it, it really shows them very nicely. Look at the details, the color of the parrot, how the parrot is almost alive with the, with the lighting. It's just incredible. And then we have this very Japanese peaches. How nice. Look at the details of the blossom. Really, really incredible writing instrument. Now, obviously, why everything I'm showing you here is available at Start of Zug. I don't need to tell you that, but I know that many of you watching are already our customers, and that's what makes me very proud. Uh, and, you know, it's truly awesome to have a community that appreciates and understands high-end writing instruments. That has always been my goal, and it is incredible to see how much like we're growing in the last couple uh, weeks and months. I mean, things can change from one second to the other. So I want to show you now, since we were from at in Japan now with the Namiki, I want to show you something that is Italian. It's a brand that I really like and I have a lot of hope that this brand here will be growing and getting better and better. This is the Scribo feel made in Bologna. What's nice about Scribo is the fact that they have these three models, La Dotta, Feel and Piuma. And 
they always create this new kind of colors, but the colors are always limited. And what's also incredible is the fact that they have all this incredible variety of gold nibs from 18 karat gold, this is a medium here, to 14 karat flex. And again, that's really exciting, shows the commitment that Scribo has put into handwriting. It is a uh, converter filling mechanism. This is the Ombra Verde. I really love it. It has a, a, an ebonite ink feed. Now, you want to know something about feeds? I'm going to tell you something about feeds. There is most of the time two types of feeds that you can have, ebonite or plastic. And ebonite is kind of the more romantic kind of feed that you can have. Why? Because each ebonite feed is done uh, pretty much singularly and since it's ebonite so it's a material that lives more than than plastic which gets injected and you have several kind of of converters on one plate the ebonite has on one side more chances to be imperfect and therefore maybe not delivering the kind of ink flow you desire. However, the goal of this company is using the ebonite feed is to show that they have the know-how of creating such amazing uh, ebonite feeds that also work very well. And uh, while with plastic you always are ensuring, because it's injected, that you have the exact same kind of shape for each single kind uh, of, uh, of feed. So that's a, a, an interesting thing to know about feeds. Whenever you see that there is an ebonite feed, also make sure that the pen actually performs. When you're buying online, why don't you actually ask the retailer to quickly dip the pen and to try it? I find this to be always the best thing. Yes, it will, it will have been deep, dipped, but hey, it's like a car that hasn't been tested, you know, uh, finally. It's like saying, no, my car must have zero uh, kilometers. It's always going to have four or five kilometers. That's just normal. You gotta, you gotta live with that. So that's a kind of, of comparison. By the way, I don't know if you are uh, messaging. Um, let me see. No, I don't see anyone messaging. I, I'd love to, to, to read from you. Um, and yeah, to read about you, if you have any questions, anything you, you'd like to know, let me just browse also here. Uh, oh, I can do a survey. That's kind of funny. Okay. Um, tutti messaggi. Okay. So yeah, I want to see all messages. Then I'm going to show you third piece that I have here and it's the stunning, 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 stunning Carondash. 1010 Chrono Sport. So if you are a lover of fine timepieces, then this Carondash here, limited edition of 500 pieces worldwide, is a piece that you probably want to have. Also knowing that it has been designed by uh, Eric Giroud. And Eric Giroud is uh, the designer of many MB and F, Maximilien Busser and Friends, um, uh, timepieces, and has been asked by Caron Dash to create this incredible masterpiece. I mean, look underneath, you know, you have this cage and then underneath you have all the, the, the incredible mechanical components. Truly, truly incredible writing instruments. This is all Super Luminova. Now this is a rollerball, so that's a daily pen that you can actually use daily. It runs for 6,500 Swiss francs, comes in a big, nice box. Really a piece that is stunning, has quite a weight, does feel uh, like something. Do I have a Montplan Taj Mahal? No, unfortunately not. Those were sold out very fast, uh, a long time ago. Uh, let's see if I'll ever have the chance to get my hands on one and be able to show you that. Would definitely uh, be awesome. Also, the, the WIII, help me with that. I'm not sure what you're referring to. Um, maybe you can you can help me. Then next one that I'd like to show you is this beautiful Mont Blanc Agatha Christie. This is an incredible writing instrument, the second ever writer's edition. Now this one was part of a set that it is being sold 
uh, alone. It runs for 1,200 Swiss francs. Get in touch with us via WhatsApp. If you go on our website, on, you'll find a little WhatsApp button. You can WhatsApp us about this writing instrument. We're selling this alone with no box, no paper, but for 1,200 Swiss francs, which to be honest is absolutely um, awesome. Look at this. Look at this beautiful nib here with the snake, two-tone. The snake again is in rhodium, platinum plated, and the outside is then in gold, and you have Mont Blanc here, and then the carrots, I think, here on the side. No, yeah, Mont Blanc and then the carrots, exactly. So, truly a marvel. I also have the bold point, which will come as a set, but since we don't have the box, I decided whether I'm gonna sell them separately or together you decide if you want them together we're gonna find a good deal uh, for you let me see what you guys are texting because i have a last piece here to show you which is this is this is the absolute masterpiece i need to show you here and we're talking here about a limited edition of 50 pieces that i will be showcasing also on my video on um, Wednesday. But let me first see what you what you are uh, writing. Thanks for fostering the knowledge uh, and the art of fine writing instruments, Samuel. Keep up the great work, okay? Thank you so much, Cristiano. Uh, uh, look, uh, the only reason why I can do that is the fact that you guys are such an amazing community and that you appreciate so much what we're doing. And I'm, uh, I'm really happy to do so. I'm really happy to help you all understand better this incredible work. Don't forget, the writing instrument is more than just an item, it's more than just something that you might wear. A writing instrument is something that you also use. So it is a statement piece that you can pull out in a meeting, but it's also a very personal tool that you use for yourself to write down your thoughts and uh, to bring your life on, on the next level, in the next uh, um, dimension. Advanced Media. Hi, Samuel. Watching you from Ukraine. Thank you for your regular videos. They really help uh, to relieve stress during this dif difficult period. Thank you so much for sharing this message. I'm really happy to hear. Um, it's, it's not an easy time for Ukraine. It's not an easy time for Russia. It's not an easy uh, time in Palestine, in Israel. War is always wrong. And who suffers? It's the normal people who would like to, to live the normal life. And there is a lot of propaganda left and right and uh, at the end of the day what I what I truly wish is to see uh, you know people uh, in peace but uh, we know that this world has never been in peace and probably God is the only one who can actually uh, solve this matter so uh, wishing you a lot of strength we we always think of you in Ukraine we do as much as possible as as we can to to help unfortunately uh, there's a limit to what we can actually do uh, the only way how we who will ever be able to understand what you are going through is whenever we will be faced with such a situation so I don't want to be hypocrite and kind of uh, act like I know what it feels like I don't know what it feels like I don't know the pain the suffering so wishing you absolutely uh, all the best and all the best and please uh, keep on watching and I hope it, it will keep on bringing uh, uh, positivity Vito, uh, Vito is there any fountain pen that sticks out to you above all, the one you will keep if there could only be one. <clears throat> to be honest, I am the type of guy who would choose the um, Otto Hood Design 08. For me, the Otto Hood Design 08 is probably the best writing instrument done in the last 15 years, if, if not more. Uh, if you haven't seen the, I won't pull it out right now. If you haven't seen about the Design 08, go on my YouTube channel and discover it. I, I had the honor to host the official presentation when this model was first released. I actually own number zero and number one of the Design 08 in Ruthenium, which is a great honor for me. And for me, it is, you know, the piston filling mechanism, the design language, the materialization, the weight, the way how there's no compromise on that writing instrument. That would probably be the writing instrument I would keep if it would be the only one I, I would have to keep. Uh, William uh, Vachan is saying also the Mont Blanc William Shakespeare red, blue and black color which you have shown two, three years ago. I haven't shown that two, three years ago. I, sh I showed it last week. <laughs> and there is, there is two, three videos that you can go discover uh, actually um, 
on my channel. I published literally about the, the that William Shakespeare last week. Go check it out, please. I'd love if you could, if you could do that. And uh, it's truly an awesome piece. It's actually available here at Stad of Zug. I got already two requests, but we haven't finalized yet. So whoever will be the faster uh, will be the lucky one owning such a marvelous piece that we have that we have here. Um, hi, I'm Rajan Raman Rumi from Bangladesh. Hello, Rajan. Great to have you here. Uh, everyone only shows the version which is black and white in color. You are the only guy who has shown that. Great job, man. True luxury pants enthusiast on the internet. We are actually the community of real luxury pen enthusiasts. And luxury doesn't mean about being snob. It's about fine craftsmanship. And fine craftsmanship is something that goes above everything, you know. Uh, it is always about the, the fine making of incredible of incredible things. People will, will never stop stop adoring that and that's what we promote. We don't promote uh, disposable pens, we don't promote just uh, accumulating things just to accumulate things. We rather say buy less but buy better and by buying better you will have something that you will cherish cherish forever and that's a very very important uh, um, thing. Vito, great choice, I feel like the design rate goes under a lot of people's radar. Yes, it must, it's such a great writing instrument. But are you ready now? You can keep on um, on messaging and, and chatting, I'm more than happy to, to read from you and maybe answer still a few questions. Want to see a limited edition Mont Blanc, limited to only 50 pieces? Spoiler, I told you, I'm going to show this one on Wednesday in a video where I'm going to show $200,000 worth of pens. That's going to be a bit crazy. But listen, it is special. It is special even for me to, to discover that. I'm talking about the Mont Blanc L'Aubrac 50. The Lobrac was made in Aubrac, a place that is famous for the Lagriole um, knives. And what we have here is this beautiful wood that has 18 karat solid gold here on the side, hand engraved, only 50 pieces made. Only 50 pieces made. Imagine that. Look at this. Little elf from Laguiol here. Let me see if it shows. There is a nice George Benson song in the background, Breezing. Let me show you the nib. This, guys, is a $40,000 pen. You know what I'm saying? It's like $45,000 pen, 18 karat gold nib. And, and now I'll show you the absolute craziness about it. This is a diamond. This is a diamond done especially for Mont Blanc. It's a Mont Blanc cut and it's on the top of the Mont Blanc. I'd even have to check how many carats it is. But look, look how it shines. How incredible is that? Limited number 42 of 50. This is also available here at Stalfzug. It is a one of a kind piece. It is rare to have the chance to see such a piece that is long sold out. This was released, I think, in 2014. So it's almost 10 years that it's not on the market anymore. And it is truly, truly stunning. You know what? As a last thing, I don't see many comments right now. So I'll give you a quick tour of the store. I have already shut down some uh, lights because we're, 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 we're closed now. I'd love to give you a tour. A lot of people, when they walk in here, you know, I get like visits from people from everywhere, India, USA, um, Italy, from Switzerland, all over Switzerland. I mean, it's just, it's just crazy. Um, and they usually say, oh no, you know, it looks bigger when, when you do the stories. But this, the story is actually like 80 square meters which is not big, but it's also not small. I think it's legit for pens. Could be bigger, it can always be bigger. I mean, you know what I mean? Um, we have a Monte Grappa shop in shop, Otto Hut. Then we have this limited edition corner. Let me show you. We have this limited edition corner here. Sartak, I'm really happy to hear that you're coming. Look, I just sold 
two design zero eight one gold and one ruthenium so they keep on selling like crazy the chaos of monte grappa dante alighieri inferno the beautiful extra they don't do them like this anymore then here we have our limited edition corner pilot here william shakespeare set daniel defo set homer set more namikis delta here we have an ink wall with around 100 inks here we have some more stunning pieces so we have a calendar shopping shop you see graf and faber castell shopping shop and then the mont blanc shopping shop you know somebody asked about the william shakespeare there it is and this displayed albert homer and many other stunning pieces purdy fountain pen and rollerball and the Lobrac special edition. Those are pieces that run for about three, four thousand francs. No, actually four, five thousand francs. Uh, truly, truly uh, stunning. Um, then uh, what else? I already have a Caran d'Ache Ivanhoe Mont Blanc and the Hermes Nautilus. Uh, nice, bravo, bravo, bravo. This is a, a very smart choice, well done. Um, it, it's, it, I'm not sure if you have a fountain pen. Ah, but fountain, yes. Amazing, amazing. That's a very nice piece. Actually, I have the ballpoint here, I told you. Uh, you you've seen, but I truly hope to have uh, uh, a fountain pen very, very soon. What is the most unique pen you know of? A pen with a future quality that most luxury pens don't have? Because that's very rare. Well, probably the crazy Richard Mille with that uh, uh, nib that, that comes out mechanically, you know. So this is probably one of the, one of the craziest things that are on the market. It also costs like 125,000 francs, but I mean, it's, uh, it really is something that is uh, unique, one of a kind, can break very easily, so you got to be able to afford the, the, the repairs, but if it's under warranty, then, you know. I mean, it's, it's, I don't know if it's useful having such a mechanic, I mean, useful, I mean, even if it's that cool, it is kind of cool, maybe one, once or twice, but that's really something that you have on the side and just do sometimes like this and, and that's it. Yeah, so, um, Sertag, you're right. It's the same as the vanishing point. I'm not a fan of the vanishing point of Pilot. I've never been and probably never will be because the pen, you know, that you pull out like that, for me, feels too, it feels cheap. To be honest, it feels cheap. So I'm always very transparent and open. So also the Pilot is not, the Pilot Vanishing Point is not a pen that we carry here at Stealth Zoo because of that. I don't personally believe in it and I think it's, it's too easily made. And what bothers me even more is that they have shown with the Nautilus that they're able to do something very, very well made, you know? So for me, it's if you do that for Hermes, because they push you, often it's all about the mindset, you know? Hermes, when they go come and, and the designer, in this case, it was Mark Newson. If Mark Newson comes with his design team and says, okay, the pen's got to have this exact feeling, then Pilot is going to do it. But if Pilot doesn't have themselves the mentality to do that, uh, you know, that, that requires an improvement in terms of, uh, of strategy and in terms of uh, what you want to achieve as a brand. And that's also part of my goal. I talk with brands in order to push them in the, on that sense so that then you guys can also enjoy that more. So while I'm here, I'm on YouTube, I create videos, we have a retail store and we sell to the final customer. Be aware of the fact that I'm always working. I'm working day and night, guys. I don't sleep. Uh, I really don't sleep. When I sleep, I don't sleep sleep well because I, I'm always uh, in the future for this industry, headed into the future for, for this industry. I'm always talking with the brands about what we can do in order to improve the customer experience. And I'm sure that we will be uh, improving a lot in the next couple uh, years. Uh, there's a lot that can be done. Brands are open to do more. And this is something very, very exciting. Well, good fellas, um, uh, the Otto Hoot is a nice pen, but the downside is that there's no ink window. You're right, it is a downside. Um, it is a downside. It is a downside. Uh, I, I, I mentioned this also in one of the videos. On the other end, I'm just asking myself if that pen would be the same with the ink window. Not bad. Say that, you know, it's, uh, it is, it is, uh, um, it is, 
sorry, <laughs> say that it would be a nice, uh, uh, it would be a nice thing to have an ink window. In general, I think that piston filling mechanics should have an ink window, but also there again, it's not enough to just put a, a window. So I'd rather not have a window than a standard window. So rather it should be something like uh, uh, Mont Blanc does with their nice little window that is almost like a curtain kind of window. Uh, this is something nice. Or for example, uh, uh, yeah, Scribo also doesn't have a, an ink window, for example. So yeah, crazy. Um, <clears throat> What else do we have here? And it was on the anchor, a fountain pen, anchor set. we have pointy nibs, a unique pen, and always the eBay with a turn to a call, nib don't often see that. 23 karat gold, maybe interesting, okay. Mm, haven't seen that, that's very interesting. Thanks for sharing. I don't think anything about Ankara. Um, I don't think anything. <laughs> you know, like, you know guys, if you follow me on my channel, a brand is not just a brand. We, you know that I often talk about lots, you know, it's often also the same kind of brands I talk about, you know, Graf, Montegrappo, Tote, Scrib, Pilot, Namiki, Sailor, uh, still, still a few, uh, Mont Blanc, uh, and so on. And the reason is that uh, uh, you should not buy pens, you should buy a product that is conceived in a certain way, that guarantees a certain kind of um, customer care and after-sales service, and so on. I want to see where the company is headed in the future whenever I carry a brand at the store. And this is a very, very important thing for me. Often, imagine that there is companies that never contacted me, nor to show me the pens, nor to be featured on the channel, even for free, you know, like, unfortunately, I'm not that much uh, into, into uh, like, I, I, I am passionate. So if you come and then you say, um, and then you say, please, could you show this pen to your public? I'm going to do it. If I like the, the product, I'm going to say, let's do it. I'll do it. I appreciate that you came. Let's do it. There's brands that never actually got in touch with me. Then there's brands that get in touch with me, but they're not really my thing, you know, and that's also something like we focus on high-end writing instruments. That's what we do. And some brands need to prove themselves because before I would even take them into consideration. That's that's it. That's it. What do you feel? Gentec, I don't know what you were, exactly you're referring to or what you mean. Let me know. Uh, how to buy, bro, you're sleeping, or oh, got it, let's do it. What? Let me know. <laughs> what do you think about Magna Carta? It's the blue Magna Carta, Mag 1000. I've been very happy with it. It's bigger in size than an Amiki number 50. Uh, I think somebody of Magna Carta um, got in touch with me. I think I've heard that they're doing very, very like positive work. I'm not sure about the price points, but probably is below the kind of uh, uh, things we're aiming to. As, as a store, because, you know, guys, think about that. Every Everyone is doing the whole range of everything. That's not who we are. You come at Style of Tug because you want to discover some truly, truly exceptional uh, rarities and some truly exceptional writing instruments. That's why you come at Style of Tug. And I guess when you want to buy a certain kind of writing instruments, then you want to be in a certain kind of environment and be guaranteed of a certain kind of customer care. And that's that's the, 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 the direction where we're headed. Nothing against uh, lower-end writing instruments at all, at all. I'm the first one who always, you know, put pushes people to start somewhere and get into uh, and then get into higher end pieces um, yeah so uh, I think that uh, that personally we uh, but look I look forward to see what uh, what these brands are up to and where they're headed um, and I'm always positive with for anyone working within uh, the industry and more than happy to support whenever I can uh, Absolutely, absolutely. Well, good fellas, half an hour. Uh, I'm, I think it's um, it's a quite a nice time. I enjoyed it. Actually, we had a good presence for the first time. Uh, can I show my collection of fountain pens I'm going to do when we're going to reach 10,000 subscribers on YouTube? I'm going to show my very own collection of fine writing instruments. So make sure to share this 
channel with anyone who loves writing instrument, who has a potential to love writing instrument. Let's make this community bigger. Show, share the channel. Ask them, hey, subscribe. Check out what what this guy's posting. I like it's so it's so free to do that, and I think it's gonna help everyone to understand writing instrument better. And the more people are into pens, the more we're gonna actually enjoy it because uh, we won't feel like the few selected one, but finally we feel like okay, there is a lot of people who are who actually appreciate writing instrument and believe me with watches it wasn't much different just 20 years ago like not that half as many people actually cared about watches like they do today so there has been a whole work that has been done and it's the time to do that exact kind of work for pens good fellas Thank you so much for joining me on this amazing live stream. I hope you enjoyed. I hope uh, the content was interesting for you. I tried to, to, to give my best. It was very unexpected. Uh, thank you so much for your passion. Thank you for always, you know, participating. The more you can comment, like the videos, I'm happy to be in touch with you, to read about you, uh, to, to have constructive criticism, whatever you think we, we, we should add. Always think about the type of channel we are, the type of products we speak. So try to give me a feedback that goes into that direction. Don't ask me to, to you know, speak about pens for $50 because that's not what, what, what I'm going to do. But if you have specific questions, if you want to know and see specific things, I'm then always working towards that direction. I read all of you, all of you. So I always see like that message. And then if the opportunity arises, I remember that message that I remember someone asked, let me do that. Boom. And I do it. Thank you. Thank you so much. And uh, don't forget that together we are changing the game.